All right, I'm on hole number three of the Sant or the Ventura Open tournament. And Monday's practice, maybe qualifying round, haven't figured it out yet. I'm gonna play until about hole number five and then see how it's going. All right. Now, in my upper developed in my 77 account, I'm gonna bring a power five ball here. And I don't know that I have any power five balls here that I can go practice with. Let's see what I got. I'd like to take it at least one time before I pull out my 77 account and I have one berserker. And I have 15 of those. I'm going to try one of these. I'm going to take an extra mile, my accurate stuff. Okay, with a kingmaker. Let's go take a look at it. Maybe. So I can get my pen to work. Okay, with a kingmaker, this is the first cut of the rough, this is the second, this is the third, and then we got the fourth cut of the rough out here. With my kingmaker, I was two rings off the transitional surface between the third, the second, and the third cut of the rough. I was in between my orange and my blue ring. So my blue ring was entirely in the in the third cut of the rough, and my orange ring was entirely in the second cut. And I doing a max or power hook shot, it put my first bounce right in this area right here. So you're rolling through and you're just right there at the top. It could clip the top or bounce over the top or it could miss it on the outside on that trajectory. So if I bring out a power five ball, my ball is going to be forward. So when you think about the arc that's from here, like what the arc is going to be like, where it's going to put me at out here. I'm going to try the same because I'm going to get more distance here so I can clear more fairway. I'm going to try like two and maybe a quarter of my blue ring on the second cut of the rough and the rest of my blue ring on the third. All right. Talk, I'm walking that out in my own mind so that I have an idea of where, like what I'm doing on this hole. We'll try it. So this first shot may or may not make it and that's okay because I have to figure out what the trajectory is sooner or later. So once I get, once I get it once, then the second time I can really start to dial it in. And I've been taking the shot with the Kingmaker just so that I had a general idea of where to start. We'll see if we get the trajectory right. If we get the trajectory right, it's going to go way down there. I think I'm going to end up having to come off probably three ranks because of the extra distance. I think if I go two and a half, it's probably going to be extra mile, power five. I'm going to say 2.5 rings off. Second, third cuts. First cut, second cut. First cut, second cut, third cut. So in between the second and the third cut. Maybe two and a half rings off that transitional surface. And I've been coming, like I said, right in this area. So I think the extra distance will throw me out into here. So I may, before it's all done, end up coming into like three rings. So I'm my entire blue ring in the second cut. I'll have to work, the, work it. I'm curious to see what an extra mile nine can do because it's got more curl and it's got more top spin. So in the past, I mean, like good shots, I've been up, I've been up where I've had a chip before, but I've, but like seeing if I can actually get on. Okay, so second and third cut, second and third cut. I'm going to be a half a ring off of that at rest. So three, six. It's about a ring and two thirds. And I got just about all of it. I mean, all of it.
Pretty good roll up there. I could have gone about a ring. I think that was, I'm gonna go a ring and a third or two and a third rings. That'll pull me, that'll pull me in just a little bit at rest. That's key. Take wind out. That's key. Because I guarantee you there, if you leave the wind in, you're gonna the wind's gonna affect the ball. And then the next time we come here, we have a five mile an hour wind, the wind's gonna affect the ball more. And I don't know which way it's affecting the ball. So taking the wind out just kind of standardizes the shot. The wind may actually be helping us there. And so then I'm taking the wind out and I'm actually hurting the shot, but I would rather try and get the shot more stable so it's more consistent by taking the wind out. Okay, I'm in my max rapier, which is 1.3 per ring. Just a titch of backspin. Get right up on the hole. Two, two, one, three, maybe two, four. I'm going to do a two ring pull. That's two, six. That's adding on 10% in the titch. Seems like I always miss to the, to the left. Hitting it perfect. In the hole! Woo! <laughs> Albatross. That's the that's the the risk versus reward. The risk of when you take a max max overpower hook shot, but the reward is is you can get down there and rape your range instead of wood range, and that's a huge difference. All right, getting the Albi. That's what I'm talking about. I think we really have to pick at least one of those first three up, and the first two are so low hanging that I. You know, they're the easier of the three, but it would be nice to come out of there. I think in the weekend round, if you could come out of the front three with a minus seven and you were on fire like that, you're set. Because, I mean, your whole goal is to pick up three per round and you picked them up in the first three holes and then it's all gravy from that point. All right, that was hole number three of the Ventura Open in Monday's qualifying practice round of the Ricky Division. Thanks for watching.